Hi, I'm Shan and I'm a one wheel rider here in the UK and a couple of years after the last video I uploaded on YouTube, I'm here with another unboxing video. Uh, this time we're unboxing the float wheel ADV. So there's a few reasons, sorry that's just me, <laughs> there's a few reasons why I have ordered the float wheel. Um, so I'm going to go into that now, if you don't want to hear that, um, just skip along. I usually ride the one wheel XR. So the reason I have ordered a float wheel is that I no longer trust my one wheel XR. So I started having issues just before Christmas. The board wouldn't engage even though I was fully charged and tested the sensor pad with a multimeter. Um, it started working again, so I figured it was fine. A couple of months after that, um, I had ordered the um, RBXR from Range Bat um, and installed that. Now, I do have the haptic buzz update on my XR. I was advised that it should work with a chip. So that didn't work unfortunately so just a warning if you have updated your xr and you're on a controller that is 4210 or above i wouldn't recommend extending your range because it just won't work it'll come up with an error that's if you have the haptic buzz update so matt weaver in australia kindly sent me um a spare 4209 controller which fix the issue without updating. So I just didn't load the app and use the Once app. Uh, that worked fine. Um, the Once app wasn't reading correctly, but that seems to have resolved itself now. Um, but I have been stranded a couple of times with it not reading the battery properly. The battery itself, absolutely fine. No issues whatsoever. Um, excellent range. I just think it's an accumulation of my board having lots of different parts to it and the trust isn't really there, especially uh, for racing season. I don't really want to race on a board that I don't trust anymore. Uh, the community have been amazing. They've been incredibly helpful in diagnosing the multiple issues that I've had and sending me parts to try and get me riding again. And thanks to those people in the community, Matt Weber has been really, really helpful. Heather Pickle um, is kindly, I'm currently using her foot pad and BMS. And Leah, um, who repaired um, a C11 capacitor, I think it was, on my previous BMS. I can't thank you all enough. You've allowed me to keep riding for the past few weeks. But after weighing up my options and my time constraints as well, because riding and racing season just around the corner, um, the logical next step was to take a loan out to get a float wheel to make sure that I'm riding again. I can replace any parts that are broken fairly easily and I can build trust with a new board. So everything's arrived and I'm going to go through the dates of shipping and how I placed my order and paid for the one wheel as well because I know that that's um, quite a common question on the Facebook groups. Um, how does the crypto payment work and what are the delivery times? So yeah, I'm gonna go over that next. <laughs> so in order to pay for the float wheel, you place an order on the float wheel website, which I'll link below and you don't pay anything straight away you need to wait until tony emails you confirming your order um and he will also send you a link to pay now you do need to create a coinbase account which i did it was really easy um, i just downloaded the app and set up an account and then you need to purchase usdc so I looked at the um, conversion rate on how much I would need once I got the final price um, of the full order from Tony with expedited shipping. Now I ordered the float wheel ADV, um, a fender and a fender base, a hypercharger and some rail guards. So in total, I think that came to 1,900, maybe 74 pounds there, thereabouts. So let's call it 2,000. Um, I uploaded slightly more um, to the Coinbase app just in case um, anything changed in the conversion rates. Uh, but yeah, I had plenty to cover that. I then purchased USDC 
with that money and once that once that had gone through i went through the link that tony had sent and ensured to send that currency to tony via the polygon network now i don't know anything about crypto I've, I've i've never delved into that i don't really know anything about it but the instructions were pretty straightforward um i had a look at the facebook pages a few forums on um is it discord and reddit on the payment and if i can do it anyone can do it uh, coinbase didn't put a hold on the transfer or anything like that it went through and then i think it was three days later i got confirmation from tony saying he'd received that payment those three days were agonizing because obviously that's a lot of money got a loan out for that so i was sort of in panics but he did confirm that it had gone through um and i'm just going to get the dates for you now for the shipping so i placed the order for the float wheel on the 23rd of march i made the payment on the 25th of march I received my first tracking information on the 2nd of April and on the 6th of April the Fender arrived with the Fender base. I then received more tracking information on the 8th of April. I received the board itself on the 8th of April as well and the hub and the hypercharger arrived today on the 15th of April. So from the 23rd of March, from the ordering, I received everything by the 15th of April. I also didn't get charged any import tax. And I think this is because everything was sent separately. So altogether I have four boxes with all the parts. So yeah, that saved a lot of money on import charges. So yeah, really, really happy with the delivery time. That was with expedited shipping, which I took a bit more of a loan out for that so that I knew I should have that in plenty of time and be able to ride that for a few weeks, um, well, two, three weeks uh, before the first race of the season so I can get used to it. Uh, so yeah, excellent shipping from Tony um, and all the tracking details were very thorough. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. I think the expedited shipping is worth the money if you're in a rush, you will get it within the month. Um, but if, yeah, if you're not in a rush, then it's very expensive um in addition to everything else so i wouldn't say it's necessary if you're not in a rush to receive your float wheel really quickly so we're going to unbox each one um we're going to start off as you can see some of them have been opened i've not really taken anything out i've just opened to see what had arrived and what i was waiting for um you know while i was waiting for the deliveries so we will start with the fender <laughs> So I wasn't really sure what quality to expect with the Fender. Um, I know there's been great reviews and I know that Tony has um, upgraded the plastics used. And to me, the quality is exactly the same as an, as an FM Fender. So I went for the colour Moon for the Fender itself, which is this beautiful colour here. There's the logo just there. Really nice little details and it feels really solid and really well made there's a couple of bits that i do need to sand down but it's it's not a problem um i've had that on my is it my original fm fender for my xr i think i had to sand a bit down there as well so uh but yeah it feels really strong and i absolutely love the color it's got some really good color choices and then we have the base this is drop top fender and I kind of went for a splash of colour with the base. So again, really nice, really nice details. And yeah, I love the colour. So I'm just going to get it like this. But yeah, they feel really solid, really well made. Um, and again, the colours are really vibrant. This did not come in the package, um, but I've also ordered some uh silicon because before i ride i'm going to be silicon the board um so yeah i've ordered some silicon this was recommended um by another float wheel rider who's done a very um thorough waterproofing video uh instructional video so i will link that video down below as well um because i'll be using that to to go through waterproofing the board 
So, box number one. Box number two, we have the hypercharger. I've been advised not to use this often, uh, which I don't think I will be anyway, because the range should be good enough that I don't need to charge as often as I normally would with stock XR range. Um, but yeah, this is the hypercharger. There's a little connector there. It's pretty self-explanatory. I will need a travel adapter, but for UK plugs, but yeah, there we go. So that's box number two. Oh, okay, box number three, we have the hub. This was the last thing to arrive today uh, that I was waiting for. Oh, I moved that box out of the way. Oh, it's so nice. So yeah, we have the hub with a stock tyre, stock float wheel tyre, which looks just like an enduro. Uh, I run the Maxxis, uh, which has a deeper tread, so I'll be swapping that out for the Maxxis because I really like the Maxxis tyre. Um, it's probably the best tyre I've had, so I will swap that out. I've heard it's quite difficult, but we'll get it done with a bit of um, elbow grease and washing a little quid. So uh, really nice details, the logo on the tyre. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to get used to uh, the difference in weight between a stock XR and a float wheel. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> but yeah, this is the hub. Looks good, feels good. And then last but not least, <laughs> we have the board itself. I've not taken this out at all yet um but we have lots of little bits we have mag handle that comes with the board we have the standard charger which is what i'll be using most of the time we have lots of screws We have the fender base that comes with the board in black, so that'll be good as a spare. No, how do I get the rest out? Oh. So the rails that I ordered, I ordered them in the colour Moon to match the fender. And they have been um, taped to the outside of the board. I'm not gonna take all the tape off yet because I've not installed them yet, but I'll take a little bit off. There they are. So they'll be going on straight away. Not like I did with my pint. I didn't put any rail protection on. I just put duct tape on and the rails were wrecked like very quickly. So yeah, make sure they're on. But the finish, the finish is beautiful. And here she is. Absolutely beautiful looking board. ADV there. I'm so excited to have lights on my board again. I've not had lights on my board for a few months and I've not had backlights on my board for about two, two years. So really excited to be able to see in the dark again without just relying on a torch. The handles are a lot smaller than the Future Motion handles. However, there is one on each side. So I usually try and carry like this anyway. If I'm going over like a really large puddle on mud, I tend to carry my board like this. So um, they'll be really handy. But yeah, everything looks really well made. Um, yeah, really beautifully made. I just need to waterproof before I even step on the board and get everything assembled. So I'm going to do another video on board assembly. It'll probably just be, you know, a time lapse of board assembly. 
um, and that will include the waterproofing process as well. So I'm really excited to get everything assembled, get the waterproofing done before assembling um, and test and ride. I've never used vest tool before, I've never used a vest before, I've ridden on a friend's but um, I've never actually, um, you know, used vest tool or anything so this is all really new to me but I'm really excited to learn. I know that the community is super helpful so I know that I can ask questions if I need to. Um, the vest community seem to just want to help each other which is really nice. Um, my partner's going to help me assemble and help me waterproof uh, so yeah I'm really excited to just get riding. I'm hoping to do a review maybe after two, three months of riding so I can give a proper review of what I think, uh, comparing it to a stock XR and a stock XR with uh, extended range as well. I loved having the extended range and the board did feel like it had more torque when I had the extended battery in it. Um, so yeah, I, I did really enjoy having that extended range and I felt the difference. So if you've not updated your board, I would highly recommend getting an extended range pack uh, from Range Bat here in the UK. Um, and I think in future, I will save and vesk this board to have as a spare. I do like the XR platform. Obviously, I've not ridden the float wheel platform. I think I've tried a float wheel pro. Uh, in the UK but I've not tried the ADV so um, it'll be nice to have that board as a spare or you know if I'm missing the XR platform then give the XR another go um, but yeah thanks for watching and I'm really looking forward to starting my float wheel journey um, I'm really excited to join the float wheel community and yeah I'm hoping that I'll be able to get used to the board in time to test it on a couple of racetracks so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, check out the links below to the videos that I mentioned during this video and click subscribe if you want to see my float wheel journey. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for joining. Bye and ride on.